Okay guys, PD Tech here with another little uh, maximum range test of this SJRC S30W. So I'm just getting ready to take off and I've just done all the calibrations. So we launch and there we're off. I've already done this test once before, but I'm convinced uh, it could go a lot further than what what it did in the test. I think it got to about 153 meters, something like that. But quite often, uh, before I get to that sort of level, even less than 100 meters, I'm sometimes getting a outer range, a weak signal type message in the bottom left corner, and it will do a little return to home. I just thought I'd try something different. And this is a tip for anyone with a, a Wi-Fi FPV drone. The Wi-Fi FPV usually runs on 2.4 gigahertz and uh, so does the transmit control frequency that works on 2.4 gigahertz as well so when you mix the two together in in close proximity when you put your phone basically on the transmitter you're going to get conflicts basically you're going to get the two signals interfering with each other not so much less than 100 meters but over that sort of range you're going to get the two interfering with each other so what you want to do what i tried doing was moving my phone away from the transmitter. That's all I did, basically. I took it off the little clip that comes with it, and I just put it just to the side of where I was flying from. Uh, but make sure it's not on the ground. I just put it on top of my bag or something like that. Just make sure it's off the ground a little bit, and that you can still see the screen okay. Um, literally, it was just maybe a foot or two away from my controller. That's, that's all it needs. You just need to separate it a little bit. And I just did the test again. So I knew it would do the 200 meters. I was That's what I was aiming for. That's what the test was all about, just trying to get to 200 meters. The reason why I bought this quadcopter in the first place was uh, in the spec, it mentioned this 200 meters FPV range. And uh, that's mainly why I bought it really. And it, it did say something like 400 meters control range, but uh, I seriously doubt it would get anywhere near that. I don't know. If, but uh, I'll do another test on this and see how far over the 200 meters I can get. I still had good line of sight with it. Um, it's a really good quad cop to this. The return to home is absolutely fantastic. If you do go out of range, it automatically returns to home back to where it picks the signal up again, and then it'll stop there. Um, if you activate the return to home manually, then it'll, it'll come flying back, and it comes back really, really quick as well. In the geo settings, you can alter the return to home altitude so you can set that you know 30 meters 20 meters you can set it right as high as you want really so i think the default is about 25 meters which is quite good really uh, even my bebop you can't do that on the return to home altitude it just comes home at the altitude where it is so it's a really good little quadcop to this the gps is really good on this as as good as the bebop no problem at all so I just thought I'd show you that, guys, that little test. It, it will go well over 200 metres. So that was, I'll do another little test and see how far it'll actually go. So hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, press that like button if you have. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers for continuing to support my channel. And I really appreciate that, guys. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, just press that subscribe button. And uh, I'm always putting out videos like this. I've got quite a few quadcopters. I'm always picking up bargains um i was giving you sort of tips so this is another little tip remember to move that phone away from your transmitter if you're on a wi-fi fpv setup 2.4 gigahertz to get that maximum range so if you want to try this on one of your quadcopters where you know the range maybe and you want to see if you can improve on it just let me know in the comments below what you tried it on just try it out and see if it helps you out See if you get a bit better range. It might help with frame skipping in the FPV feed and things like that. So it definitely helps with signal strength and uh, makes a big difference. Take care, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.